What's up everyone, it is Kamikaze here today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some weapons and features that were never actually put into the game. They are kind of deleted and never got past the test server phase. So for those of you that don't know, Pixonic has this insane thing called the test server, where basically, whenever there's a new piece of content, a robot, weapon, map, whatever, it is put onto there. And sometimes they make some pretty crazy stuff that never actually gets past the test server stage and is deleted. So I'm going to be showing you guys five of those. Make sure to like and subscribe, please, because it helps me out, out a lot. And let's get into it. So, the first deleted weapon was actually weapons. Three different weapons, three different versions of basically a early Chimera, a heavy spiral. Now eventually Pixonic decided just to kind of scrap it and very, very well down the road they just scrapped it and turned it into the Chimera. What Pixonic does a lot of times is they don't truly delete a robot, they just kind of wait a little bit, a little while later and when they rebalance it even more, when they figure out how to balance it out, and then they release it. So let's look at it. So basically, as we can see, it is just this kind of redeemer looking thing, in my opinion. Call me crazy and all, but I think it looks a lot like a redeemer. So, you know, and this one was, I forget the stats on it, but it was pretty powerful. And then we have our second prototype, which was the kind of weird, <laughs> to me it looked very kind of like, modern um missiles right now it was like this weird kind of just gigantic missile that looked a lot like some of the rockets that we use in modern war warfare today which is something that you know war robots usually we don't think of it being realistic like that you know and then our third one is this it looked a lot it was just a large spiral basically so it, it yeah it, it had those three missiles and it was just basically huge Huge. It was just a huge spiral, which was really funny in my opinion. And as we can see, these kinds, these kind of things are translucent, so they don't really, they're not, they don't actually look like spirals, you know, because they're just translucent. They're see-through. Now, I would like to say that yes, this is from Adrian's gameplay, so I'm going to leave his link in the description. And by the way, you know, it's not against community guidelines. It's technically a reaction or contemplation, so you know, don't report me. <laughs> it's actually okay. So, yeah, I'm going to leave the link. Make sure to go and check out his channel because he has some very great videos there. Number two is possibly one of my mm, favorite, one of my most favorite, because it is the Center Beacon Shield. So, let's look, let's take a look at this. It's hard to explain, but basically, at Center Beacon, there's a massive shield that just, like, you know, um, robots could hide inside of. Now, the issue with this was, was that although it kept kind of like, um, campers and long-range robots from firing in at Center Beacon, it also made it so that the other team, the team that had the beacon, um, that, would ha that already had the beacon captured, you know, it led to a lot of, like, issues with turnovers, because players couldn't turn over a beacon that has this massive, like, impenetrable, impenetrable shield around it, you know? It's, it's pretty hard to kind of get that beacon over if you have a massive shield that's stopping you. So they, they did decide to scrap this and it has never been seen again. I would though like to see, you know, maybe them just put it on in the skirmish, you know, just for the nostalgia. Nostalgia. You know? So, I don't know. I mean, it, it was pretty cool. I really, I really think this was, uh, like, one of the best ones out of all of these, but, you know... I think that it would have made a lot of issues in the game. Now this next version is basically a combo of the Ember and the Redeemer. Basically, you know, if you think of Ember, picture Ember and Redeemer in your head and this is what you get. It was called The Wave and it, this, this gameplay is from Phoenix's channel, so I'll also leave a link to that in the description. But basically, it just shot out this massive, like, continuous stream of what looks like Redeemer Blast, as you can see, and it was very, very powerful. You could, you just saw that it leveled that, uh, Fusion very quickly. <laughs> so, you know, I think that it eventually just turned into the Ember, and, you know, uh, it, it just looks pretty cool. 
but I like the ember better. I think the style of the ember just looks better. But that kind of blue burst does also look very cool. But it was obviously very overpowered, so they just scrapped it. So this next one doesn't really have a name, but some people refer to it as the bubble gun. Because, you know, it just looks like, you know, blowing bubbles basically out of your robot. It was called the bubble gun because of that. Now... <laughs> This robot was, or this weapon was very weird. <laughs> Possibly one of the craziest and weirdest ones. Not my favorite though, but very crazy. So basically it just shot out this huge sphere that was like the size of a robot. And it was the slow, it was like you could probably like, a Leo is probably faster than it. Literally a Lancelot is probably faster than this shot. And what it did is it just followed you around until it killed you. <laughs> it was just heat seeking and it would never stop and it would just keep on just pounding away at you and you would just have to run away from it and it was very, very destructive. I think now with all the stealth going around it'd be easy kind of just to uh, stealth away, you know? But let's just take a look at it. It, it was very, very weird of a weapon. <laughs> So as you can see, you know, that weird kind of like rotation that it has there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like this energy pulse. It bypassed energy shields. It honestly looks like an energy shield a little bit. And look, it just boom, boom. The, the robot's killed. That's how powerful that thing was. So they deleted it because it's just hard to balance. It's hard to balance so... A weapon that goes that slow and deals that amount of damage, you know, it's just hard to balance something like that. So they just decided, eh, screw it, we're gonna scrap it, and they never made another version of it. The one that I want the most, and this is the final one that I'm going to leave you guys with. So this is the reload button. This is what I want the most in the game, it might not be my favorite, but I really want it in the game because we really need it. I hate when I have to reload my Avengers, because like, you know, when you're at half ammo, you don't want to go into some place with half ammo, so you have to just fire out all that ammo, and it takes so long. So this reload button would be so amazing. Now, I think that maybe Pixonic scrapped this idea because, well, it would have made some of these weapons with the manual reload uh, too OP. But I think there's an easy way to kind of, you know, rebalance that, is to just maybe nerf them like 10% damage or something, and then add in the reload button. I hope they do this, I hope they bring it back, please Pixonic, if you guys are watching this, please, please, please bring this back, it was very epic, and I'm showing you guys right now a screenshot of basically what it looked like, it looked like a little module button in the right, so, you know, now the module button was just kind of an early version of what it kind of looked like, but, bring it back, please, you know? <clears throat> There's so many buttons though on the screen now, can we really fit in another button, we have the passive we have the, uh, no, the active module button, we have the power-ups button, we have the controls, <laughs> the weapons, uh, all that crap. And there's just too many buttons, I think, that it would have clogged up the screen at this point, but I don't know, I really want it in there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to my rambling on and on and on about random crap, but thank you. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'm going to see you. Have a great day, my dudes.